Dark Horse crew guys, welcome to another video. We are talking about the four basic positions of the rowing stroke. Now, this is awesome. This is kind of the foundation of your movement. You gotta master these four positions if you have any hope of finding efficiency, of finding this machine to no longer be your little black hole of energy. So that's our goal, set you up with good foundational movements. So the four positions of the stroke, number one, the catch. Number two, the drive. Number three, the release. Number four, the recovery. So we are going to move through those four positions. Once you learn those, you're gonna have good positioning for the machine. That is really critical for you guys to move well. Now, first things first, let's talk about each position. Number one, the catch. At the catch, I am looking for my arms long and hands relaxed. I want that handle sitting in my fingertips, not a closed fist. So arms long. I want my knees underneath my arms, not outside. This is not a strong position when we're rowing. So knees underneath the arms. I want my heels connected. As I drive, I'm gonna be pushing through my mid foot, not my heel, not my toe. So I need that heel down in order to give me connection through the mid foot. Next, I want a nice flat back and I want my shoulders protracted. So allow that shoulder to reach. Then I want my hips behind my shoulders. If at any point at the catch, you find your shoulders stacked on top of your hips, something is wrong. So, notice when I put the heels down, my hips instinctively go to the right position. So, one plus one equals two. If you keep the heels down, you will have the seat in a good position. So, <clears throat> this is my catch position. It should feel tight. If it feels relaxed, again, something is wrong. You wanna be a wound up or a compressed spring here. Now, from the catch, I'm going to move into the drive. Now I do that by bracing through the midline. Okay, so I'm gonna brace from my midline and I'm gonna start by pushing through the legs. And that leg drive is where I start to initiate my power. Okay, now I drive through the legs. Once that knee is about to extend, now I'm going to swing the hips. And that swing of the hips, that hip opening, is my continuation of momentum that I created from the leg. Okay, so I start the drive with the leg, then the hips swing. As the hips swing and as I reach what is going to be for you guys the 11 o'clock position, so at the catch my body should be at one o'clock, I'm gonna swing open to 11 o'clock. So from that position, I will then snap the arms, okay? Now the arms are only responsible for about 10% of the stroke. So as the arms snap in, they immediately push away and that's my release. It's that easy. As soon as the handle moves in, it immediately moves away again. So that's my release position. So I started at the catch, I moved through the drive, I hit the release, arms simply moving away, and then I go for the recovery. Now we talked about the recovery being a mirror image of the drive because I need to set myself up in the perfect catch position. So from the release, I've already started the arms. That's step one. Once that arm is about to extend, then I'm going to close my hips. I'm gonna rock that hip closed and load my posterior chain, okay? So that's loaded. Now I'm gonna let the knees bend and I'm gonna glide nice and relaxed up to the catch and I'm back at this perfect catch position. Now something to note is that through the drive, my legs give me 60% of the force, my hip swing gives me 30% and then my arms give me 10. On the recovery, I wanna give those exact same percentages in amount of time to recover. So as I drive and then recover, my arms are only gonna take up 10% of the recovery time, then my hips take up 30, and then my arms are gonna, or my legs are gonna take 60. And that's because the legs work so hard during the drive that I wanna give them as much time as possible to recover through the recovery. All right, those are your four basic positions of the stroke. Catch, drive, release, recovery. Guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing signing off. Make sure that you sign up for our newsletter, The Hustler's Guide to Rowing, in which you will get our newest blog article and our latest video every single Tuesday morning right in your inbox. Guys, you heard it here first. This is the resource for rowing. We'll see you later.